So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your fifth Electron tutorial in which we're going to take a look at, a deeper look at this Hello World and how this is actually working, right, and a couple of fixes as well to this program. So starting off with the first line, what we have is, uh, actually this is ES6 stuff, but I can just explain it in a minute what's happening. So let's say if you have an object, something like... Uh, uh, prop1 is some value or some function or whatever it is, prop2 is something else. So instead of doing something like uh, uh, constant prop1 is equal to object dot prop1, then doing constant prop2 is equal to object dot prop2, what we can do if you know that you want to keep the names similar to the property name and uh, that property name actually exists as well inside object, you can simply do constant prop1 prop2 is equal to object. So it's more or less kind of syntactic sugar only. It's ES6 uh, or I guess it's ES5. I don't remember actually, but it's it's quite quite well supported and implemented. And obviously for Electron, you can obviously use that. So anyways, well, what we can do with this is actually since this is node stuff, so this would just pretty much copy if electron is an object something like electron and then we have uh, something like app is a function or whatever it is goes in here so it just copies app inside this app variable which we are using here and browser window inside that browser window variable which we are using here right so and obviously the order does not matter because these are actually the property names right so what we can do is uh, make use of them like that the next thing we have in the url which we are making use here but actually we do not need this as well you can just get rid of this and you can pretty much simply say file and then you can say that this is your directory name and again this is just a string literal which is pretty much similar to let me just complete the path first Right, so this line and uh, this line is uh, similar, right? You can just make use of single quotes and then just append it like that. So you can use either one of those, but this kind of does not break your uh, quotes, so I kind of like this one, right? And we do not need to worry about cross cross browser platform or anything like that because it's just running on Chrome V8. Okay, so now we have loaded our window. Now another thing what the documentation suggests is that make use of win as uh, your global variable, right? Now the reason for that is that uh, Electron in the background and node in the background are constantly running garbage collectors to collect unused variables or you know what which electron or no thing are no longer used by the program and if you have no global variables if you have a window which is not global then electron might just simply remove it and your window might um, unexpectedly close without you realizing right and you might spend hours figuring out that why your window sometimes closes and sometimes not right so yeah that's one thing okay so the other thing is that uh, as i told you in the next is the last video that we are inside main process right so what we can do is i can simply say console log process dot type and hit save and let's just see in terminal what that means so i'm going to type electron dot and we get hello electron but uh, just a sec enable logging hit enter right so we have some terminals here okay um this was not actually what i was expecting but just wait a minute Let me try with git bash and see if it works. Right, so I don't know, there's some problem with the um, Windows CMD, but right here we see that we get browser 
as the console logged for process type right and uh, what if I try to do something like script console log process dot type here right and if I rerun this and if I start the developer tools which is by control shift and I or command shift for you you see that we get renderer here instead of browser right so that is how pretty much you can see that this process is running in renderer and this one in browser or what we call as main process so that is how pretty much a simple electron app works and uh, yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one